I'm Kelly and I'm a part of the Davis Crew. So we're in the NFL world. My husband is a 13 year NFL veteran. And of course you would think it was all perfect. Everything you see on social media, lovely. No, that's not us. It's total chaos around here with the Davis Crew. We have four kids and we live life like normal people, which makes it crazy. That's us. Do you remember when we first met? Are you gonna tell the truth first of all? I about always tell our, the our, truth. our first meeting. I always tell okay, the truth. Okay, tell me. Let me see if you remember. So we first met at South End Brewery, just out riding around and had ended up getting a phone call from Javon Hay, who was on the team at the mm -hmm. time, and he was actually at the same spot. He called me over to the truck and I went over to the truck and I saw you. And Oh, what happened? I told you to get out of the truck. <laughs> and you did. When I found out Thomas was an athlete, I was like, oh my gosh, another athlete, because yes, I've dated athletes before. That's the whole cliche thing of saying, oh, this girl's a groupie or whatever. I can't help who tries to holler at me. Let's just keep it real. So I was like, no, not doing it. He's an NFL player. Oh, he's about to be off the chain. I can't handle this, but I couldn't help it. We fell in love. And we started talking, and one of the first things that you know both of us talked about in the conversation was you know, our kids. Mm -hmm. I had a kid from a previous relationship and you had a kid from a previous relationship and um, kind of hit it off from there. And you called me first. Remember that? I called you because she told me she you told me you lived in South Carolina. <laughs> I'm so fine. Took you no, 15 minutes. No, no. 15 minutes. I, I was new to the Charlotte area, didn't really understand the dynamics of where South Carolina was in relation. You were from Georgia, so you really didn't know no, South Carolina was that close? I like, had never, you, had there never, are lines around states. I had never been out of Georgia. Oh, okay. You told me you lived in South Carolina, so I had to make sure, you know, I was being the gentleman. You make sure I was straight. And make sure you made it home straight. I didn't know that it was Rock Hill that was literally 15, 20 <laughs> minutes away. I wouldn't have called you a wet if I would have known that. What? <laughs> People always say you're put together on this earth or you were meant to be with this person or you know, this person and this person, God made them for each other. Thomas and I are the perfect example of that. We finish each other's sentences. We have the same thought process when we're thinking about just simple stuff, dealing with the kids or relationship wise. Or it, it's so funny because we tell the story of, of how we met and I always say Thomas called me within 15 minutes. I forget the part to say that Thomas called me within 15 minutes because he thought I was driving all the way back to South Carolina. In his mind, all the way to South Carolina was very far and it was just Rock Hill. So I was like 20, 30 minutes away from home. But it's so funny that he cared enough to sit on the phone with me, to talk to me. Thomas and I have this running this running joke. I always say I saved Thomas because mm. I met him right when mm. he got to Charlotte. He was just, you know, in the NFL, fresh, new money. I met him and calmed him down, changed mm. him. I say I saved him. You don't think mm. I saved you? No, no, no. You? No, no. You got saved. You think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to be out there. Oh, man, it was over with me. <laughs> he is a super huge romantic person. Oh my gosh, he's the PDA guy. If you look in my garage, you'll see all these vases from all these flowers. He always brings me flowers. I like that about him. I was young. You were young? I was young. I was young. You were young and dumb? Nope. I was just young. I was young and dumb. Yeah. But I fell for you, so it worked. You fell for me? Yeah. Quick. You fell for it. <laughs> go ahead and say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. You fell for me, girl. You gonna make me smack you. That's what's <laughs> See, about to happen. I told you that's why. I, no. <laughs> I'm glad I was chosen in. If that's how you wanna, you wanna put it. Absolutely, girl. We've grown together. It's crazy having an NFL dad who's a superstar. He's on TV one minute and then he's walking around your school or at your football game or watching you cheer another minute, and you not have 50 million people coming up for autographs. Shut it down. Shut it down.